Yo and welcome to Little Black Book again. We're here talking to you about uni advice. Now, you guys may have watched or you may not have watched, okay, my previous video where I spoke about surviving uni halls. Well, I'm now going to be talking to you guys about what essentials you may need when you're actually moving into the uni halls. Listen, guys, let me be real with you, yeah? Uni... Uni... Uni is jacked up, bruv. Yeah, because people out here don't have home training. Uni out here, yeah, is for is for t it's fam. If you've never seen a terrorist, you're gonna see them in uni halls, cuz. If you haven't seen thieves before, you're gonna see them in uni, cuz. Yeah. If you're gonna see disingenuous people, you're gonna see them at uni, cuz. Yeah. Don't watch them use some big, big words. You get me big, big English in that. Like I always say, don't get. What do I say? Don't get mad. Get smart. You understand? Don't get mad. Get smart, all right? Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna say 10 things that you're gonna need and then we'll do a second video. Shanda! Number one, what you need is a padlock. Now, you probably didn't deep it from the other video I spoke about surviving uni halls. You need a chain and padlock. Now, you can get these things from Amazon. They cost like four or five pounds. Get yourself a chain and padlock. Don't wait to learn the lesson at the uni halls and then you're calling me saying little black but you was right you can buy you can buy a bike chain i don't care what you buy amazon chain i don't care what you buy you can buy it from wilco just buy yourself a key and chain a heavy duty one okay put that chain around your and listen let me go back to, I, I, I ask it to be here <laughs> the first thing you need to do okay is get to uni halls early yeah and i, I know some of you probably think to yourself why would i do that you need to get to uni halls early so you can choose your wardrobe. Sorry, cupboard. I'm making bare mistakes, cuz. Fam, get it together, cuz. Alright, cool. You need to get to the uni halls early so you can choose your cupboard. Once you've chosen your cupboard, listen, because different cupboards have different sizes, my friend, and different locations, you know what I mean? Choose your cupboard and then put the padlock around it, okay? Point. What you need to move into uni. Okay, listen comprehensive list you need a chef's knife i'm sorry guys listen you may think you don't but wait till you haven't to cut the chicken or cut the meat with a blunt knife or a bread knife i mean it's difficult cutting meat or f cutting even salmon is it salmon or salmon 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 simmer salmon anyway it is difficult cutting meat with a knife that's not sharp a chef's knife will cost you maybe about 15 20 quid i mean it's not super essential but it's good to have you get me as well as knife you're gonna need a cutting board, simple things. I got chopping board, I got the plastic version, the wood version, I got the flexi plastic version now, but it's only gonna cost you four or five quid. Shanda! So cutting board, very essential. Listen, when you're chopping your vegetables, your fruits, chopping your meats, you want that chopping board, okay? I'll preferably go for a wood version, but plastic's not a problem. Uh, flexi plastic's there, but I don't particularly like that. Um, I'll stick with a wood or plastic version of a chopping board. I've done all the hard work for you guys, basically, okay? I've put all the links down below. You probably haven't deeped it, um, is a can opener, okay? Now you can get the multi-can openers, which are, they're like three in one. So you've got like a can opener, a bottle opener, and a screw, a uh, corkscrew on it as well. Mum, I'm doing a video. All right, when now? Okay, you, uh, you can get a can opener. It, the normal traditional can opener is three quid. You can also get the three in ones or five in ones on Amazon. They cost like five quid or whatever. But listen, I'll stick to the traditional one. It costs you a three quid or two pound or whatever at the shop. You're gonna want a tin opener. Um, because you can't open a tin with your bare hands, so um, and you you don't know how painful it is opening a tin with knife. Hey, if you're African, you might understand. When you try to open a tin with the knife, because you couldn't find a tin opener. And let me tell you something: the tin opener, yeah. Don't let the tin opener be out and open. Tin opener should be in your room, yeah. Just like the next thing I'm going to talk about: cutlery. Cutlery should be in your room. Only leave one set, like fork, knife, spoon, and little spoon. Leave that just one of each one. In your cupboard, okay? Uh, unless it's, uh, if that's an, if if the cupboard can't be locked, leave one of them out. The rest has to be in your room. I'm telling you now. Listen to my advice. Listen to me. You don't want to come crying to me later on. Sh sh Shanda, it makes me vex, cuz that you can come into the kitchen and think it's okay to use my cutlery and not wash the thing. Are you flipping mad? Somebody's gonna die today. Somebody's gonna get forked up. You know what I mean? I didn't swear that, but did you get what I did there? <laughs> You can cut the tension with a knife. <laughs> I'm just gonna scoop myself with my spoon off the floor because it's roadkill. 
Next thing, which you probably haven't considered, a veg peeler. Now listen, I'm probably, you're probably thinking what, but you haven't deeped it yet. Fam, when you've got potatoes, yeah, and you have to peel this thing, because it gets long, trust me. And you know when you've got dime a dozen, <laughs> if you <laughs> Some of us have been at home where you've had to peel the thing with a knife because, you know what I mean, the chef's knife and do fit, 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 fit. Fam, it's long, but when you've got the veg peeler, cuz you just straight, straight, straight. Next thing you probably haven't considered, mixing bowl. Now listen, Argos, Wilkinson's, you can get the three piece mixing bowl, five piece mixing bowls. Um, they can come in sets and stuff like that. So mixing bowl, the reason why you need a mixing bowl, like if you're looking to do salads, um, a lot of you are gonna be trying to do meal preps and everything like that. You wanna mix some of your foods together before you put it into your actual container. That's not a problem, use a mixing bowl. If you're a baker, mixing bowl could be used too. Um, also, if you're putting your meats overnight, those of us who can season, <laughs> cause I know some of you don't season, so you're not gonna need a mixing bowl, it's fine. <laughs> But those of us who season and season overnight, um, you're gonna need a mixing bowl, okay? Um, and a mixing bowl, just put that, you season the thing in the mixing bowl, then you put that, you put a little cover it over it with a cling film, which I haven't even put on the list. Cling film was one of the things. Put the cling film over it, wrap it around, put it in the fridge away. Tomorrow you come and cook it. Those of you who are eating people's food when they've cooked it, God is watching you. Judgment will come to you faster than you realize, you get me? But cling film is also on the list, remember that. God damn, I didn't even realize how much mixing bowl is. It's 17 dollars 9 God Damn, baby. All these items I'm mentioning, fam, when you start to put the prices together, you start to flip, cuz. Like, these things cost. Like, my kitchen to get stocked is, is, is beefy, cuz. It costs money, you know. It's not cheap, you know. So it's mad, yeah. What you're gonna want, um, you're gonna want, um, um, you're gonna want, um, you're gonna want, you're gonna want. You're gonna want a coriander. Whoa! Colander. Hey! Oh my god. English colander, yeah. Um, and the reason why you want a colander, like I said, if you're frying stuff, for those of you who know what plantain is, because some of you only know a spicy banana. <laughs> plantain, basically, when you fry it, um, you want it to be in the colander. Col 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 wow, English is, is spoiling me. Um, you want it to be in the colander because then obviously it drains and etc. etc. Some of you have seen you do some mad things. You put the plantain after you finish onto a plate, which a, which a plate has got um, kitchen paper towel, so it's soaking the thing. And I, I can't understand that because then the plantain will be soaking into the into the tissue and the tissue will stick into the plantain. I'm just not about it. So, cuz, get some coriander, you get me? Uh, you want a potato masher. Listen, cuz, it's gonna cost you about £2.50. Um, the potato masher is good. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, it's probably not a necessity, but have you tried to make mashed potato with a spoon or with a fork? It's long in it. Yeah, when you've got all that potato, it's long in it. And you put the milk in and you put the, the butter in as well. It's long in it. Yeah, or when you add the other ingredients, it's long in it. Potato masher. Yeah, £2.50 from Wilkerson's. I think you can even get it for a pound online. Um, probably very flimsy, but listen, potato masher is essential to help you mash your potatoes and things and get you into that mode of having a nice mashed potato with the sausage and bangers you get me bangers and sausage are the same thing don't know why i said sausage with the bangers but you know what i'm saying i'm nervous cuz i don't know why i'm, I'm anxious cuz i feel like a little bit you know what i mean forgive me forgive me forgive me another thing that you want is a whisk uh, probably a balloon whisk those of you who are bakers this is very good for you too but even so like some of you you know if you want to be a little bit posh um, and you want to, you know, make yourself a scrambled egg um, rather than obviously using a fork, which some of us Africans do, and forking it, um, you can use a whisk. Um, and the whisk is good for beating eggs together. It's good for making um, cream and good for making um, 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 that thing for that cake cover. What's it called? Ice and sh uh, ice and, no, the cover, buttercream and them things there. You get me? It's very good for that. Um, so it's not an essential one again, um, but it's good to have if you're looking to do those things. Um, and, you know, it saves you a bit of time and it's good just just, just, just do that as it's quick as done next thing greater listen <laughs> greater you lord greater you lord anyway i'm talking about greater not greater you lord but anyway listen guys listen greater so it's mad because listen there's two types you can have the flat one or you have the box one i the box one's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the flat one i personally think you should get a flat one the reason why because it makes it easier to wash okay with a box one you've got to go put your hand in you've got the likelihood of putting your hand in and moving coming out like sore uh where your hands are drawing blood um because it's catching on the side against the the rough parts I would say it's much easier to do a flat one where you've done the cheese or whatever, you just scrub the side and it's done. The final one that you're going to want um, on part one of this video is the saucepan. Listen guys, let me tell you something. 
saucepans are essential and you can get like a, a pot of a different sets of five for about 12 pounds very essential to moving in guys okay um, because you know when you're doing your little your little, your little cooker and things you know um, you, you, you want to have your own saucepans you don't want to be using someone else's one you don't want to become that person that want, that you, you know that everyone else wants to fight because you're borrowing their stuff um, and you know when you're cooking when you're cooking is essential you know how it is you know, you know how it can get, you get me? It's gonna cost you like 12 quid to buy a set. It's not a problem, guys. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing all spaghetti bolognese and them things there, you want it in the pot, you get me? If you're doing, you know, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't cook, cuz, so I don't know. So don't ask me questions, innit? But you want a sauce pot, a sauce pan, sauce pot, frying pan, whatever, same thing, cuz. You're gonna get it for 12 pounds a set, fam. It's calm, innit? So, those are my first 10. Watch out for part two. We're gonna bring out part two for this. Don't worry, I've got some more tips for you. Um, this is only just talking about the kitchen, so don't worry about that. Um, guys, in all the things that I've said, I've mentioned 10 items, but potentially you can get all these items from home. So you, won't have, you might not have to spend a penny, you can just nick it from home. Um, if you're African though, you probably won't wanna do that because your mum will find you um, and she will deal with you. And um, she'll deal with you in front of your friends, so you don't want that to happen. So I'd advise you probably buy the things. Um, but yeah, guys, that is my top tips um, essentially for moving in to uni halls part one. So guys, listen, I appreciate you. Little black book, you know what time it is, Wakanda forever. And uh, guys, make sure that you lock and key your cupboard. Remember that, it's the most important thing. Key chain, cuz, yeah? Most important thing. And look down below, because I've got the links in there in terms of how you can buy these items. Two like share subscribe baby you already know what time it is <laughs> little black book you know what time it is oh you know what time it is <laughs> the jungle baby <laughs> oh wrong button wrong button